Welcome to Let's Talk Cows. And since we're filming this on Mother's Day, we just want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there that are watching and also all the cows that are mothers in your barn. So what you're here for is Let's Talk Cows. What we're going to do on this episode, I was on a trip through to Western and Central New York, parts of Central, and we are going to do a herd feature. We're going to do two of them, and I'm going to start with Hills Valley Farm, the Hill family in Cataraugus, New York. I had the pleasure of stopping there on my first day of the trip, and I will tell you it was an NGG overload. They had daughters, loads of daredevils, typical high wide rear udders, the highest in the breed, long dairy frames, just silky smooth cows, just tremendous cattle. They also had a patent daughter, really, really nice udder, balanced cow. They also bred and have a Hills Valley Richard Watch Out daughter. Incredible mammary system, so youthful, so many veins, rear udder that climbs all the way up, high, wide, full at the top. And now we also come to, they had three silvers, 54 BS 577. You'll see some pictures now of the silvers of Hills Valley, all of them strong, wide, balanced, beautiful mammary systems, long fore udders, high wide rear udders, youthful mammary systems, great crease, and they are making a lot of milk. And last, they had two Champions Collection Rasta daughters. These two daughters, one milking 75 pounds, another a real special junior two-year-old that is just probably fresh now. I think you're gonna wanna look for her on the show string this fall. Next, we come to Champions Collection Bull and highlight 54 BS 600 Winright. Having his first daughters hit the ground here in March, and I had the pleasure to see a few, and I will tell you it's a pleasure because some of them are gonna be offered to you now. First, I saw two win rights at Abby and Andrew Evans A Joy Farm. They're having a tag sale here in a couple weeks. You'll see in the picture here this win right pictured. She is long, she's clean, she's silky, she's stylish, and she can be yours in their tag sale. Next, we come to another win right you're going to see in a photo now from the Jason DeMay's Farm Towpath. She is a hammer. She is big, she's long, she's everything you want in a March calf, and she is gonna be available to you at the National Convention sale in July. So if you missed out on Winright, now's your chance to get in on the Winright train. It's leaving the station. Winning does start with W. Next, we come to another herd feature, New Hope View Farm, Sarah Head in Homer, New York. Sarah also had two silvers, and you're gonna see a pretty special video of one here right now. Dairy, open rib, deep body, beautiful mammary system, udder tied on, really high wide rear udder. She also had another one just fresh, same mold, gonna be just like her. Thanks to her help, along with Kelly Driver, who does the matings for her, we also found a few other animals. One of the 54 BS 564 Hampton daughters, really nice young two-year-old, and a get lucky, one of the oldest in the country in her third lactation, milking like crazy and having a great mammary system, holding up incredibly well, and she lives in a massive freestall environment, perfect for the people who want milk. Last, I would encourage you to take your own herd visit to the last farm, Leon Buttons, Vine Valley Farm in Rushville, New York. One of the biggest brown Swiss herds in the country. I will not spoil the surprises for you. I will just encourage you to go to the farm, look at the first and second lactation cows. You will be impressed. But I will tell you about one of the earliest of the star pulled bull 54 BS 568 Cade. The first daughters are just calving. Leon had one. She was medium size, balanced, strong, dairy quality, and she tied it all together with a really nice mammary system that you're viewing right now. So thank you again for tuning in to Let's Talk Cows. We can't wait to tell you where we go next.